Okay, we're here at uh, Newark uh, National Land Fest 2018. I'm joined by Andy from uh, SDR Play. Hi, Andy. Hi. Hey. We uh, we last had a chat back in, I think it was June, back at Friedrichshaven. It was the first week of June in Friedrichshaven. Yeah, we just launched the RSP Duo. Yeah, so how's that gone? Uh, it's gone incredibly well. Um, we've been uh, quite surprised by the uptake. Uh, people looking uh, for the what they can do with two tuners in a single box. Um, so, so now the software's got to catch up with where the hardware is. Yeah, absolutely. So what, what, how is that going? I know you were saying last time there's quite a lot of exciting things that can be done with this hardware. So how are you getting on actually making that work then in the software? Yeah, so on Windows, we had a, a, we've, everything is in place uh, for doing things like diversity, noise cancellation, um, and direction finding, that sort of stuff. We've been working on the non-Windows side so that that can catch up. Uh, and just before, in fact yesterday, I was testing the non-Windows version of the API uh, and we're putting that into uh, SOAPy so we can test it with uh, Cubic SDR uh, on Linux and Mac OS and Raspberry Pi. Um, so that's in testing and that'll be out very soon. That's cool. And you said something earlier about scanning, is some scanning functionality coming? Yeah, so in SDR Uno, um, next version of SDR Uno is well underway. Um, we've got quite a few uh, improvements and changes to that. Um, the main one is probably frequency scanning. Uh, so it'll be uh, arbitrary frequency scan, start, stop, step, uh, with a few extra features. Um, so yeah, that's going to be, uh, it's been a, a long-standing request um, and I think it'll be, hopefully be, it'll be a good use for people. Yeah, it's something I, I've got for myself and that's certainly something I would find useful is to have that, have that feature. Um, in terms of other areas, so you got you showed me earlier. You've got, you've got this this device here. This is a yeah. is it a Pi top? So um, we came across um, via RS. I um, said we've got these Pi tops. Can you do anything with them? Um, so it's a quite a nice box. Basically, you get the uh, you get the, the the frame and the screen, and then you add a Raspberry Pi to it, and then you've got this kind of bus along here where you can add other you can do different experiments. So I just thought, well, let's take an RSP one A. It just snugly fits in there, um, and you've now got a sort of a, a mobile uh, listening system. So we can just, you know, it's a it's a fully fully functioning uh, laptop, keyboard, mouse. It's got a battery inside, so literally just connected up to an antenna, and away you go. You've got uh, all the software on there to do um, some some listening uh, wherever you want. So it's a fully self-contained. Receiver essentially based on SDR technology. Absolutely. Um, this was a this was a this is an older version of the Pi Top. Next week we're going to be getting the latest version, and we'll we'll do um, we'll do some modifications to that. And um, just to show, a lot of people come to us and say we've got these Raspberry Pis. They're sitting on the shelf. We don't know what to do with them. Um, they could be a bit you know. By the time you've got a battery and the time you've got a the RSP, but this is kind of a just a neat sort of all in one. Um, package. I've also added a rotary encoder on the side so we can do frequency control with a dial because uh, I know we, we all like dials. <laughs> <laughs> well in the SDR world it's now nice of course but um, I mean yeah I suppose you can, you can use those devices can't you? And in terms of applications to this sort of technology I'm thinking schools and people want to work mobile that sort of thing. Well, I think the, the Pi Top I think was originally uh, intended for educational purposes um, so um, what I was intending to do was to put GNU Radio, um, to put GNU Radio in uh, in here, um, and then show that as a kind of um, uh, as a, as a complete educational package, really. So you can basically take this and show people. They, you can use GNU Radio to build radios, and it's it's all inside. Cool. That's really really good. Okay. Cool, Andy. Thanks for your time. Good luck, and uh, we'll see you next time. Okay. Good to see you. Cheers. Okay. Cheers.